Here's a once in a lifetime visual. It was surreal standing on top of an empty bay bridge. The workhorse of the bridges here, a ghost town. It was eerie. After seeing that, we headed to what will be the new toll plaza. I did not even recognize it. It's going to look so different. This project is not just about the new suspension span. The entire east side of the bridge experience will be new. They laid fresh asphalt. It's still drying. You can see that they still need to mark the lane. The toll booths will now be white. Everything is getting a fresh coat of paint and spiffied up. Here's what it will look like out your right passenger window when driving on the new eastern span. So this is heading from Oakland to San Francisco before Treasure Island. You can see Treasure Island down here, and off in the distance is Alcatraz. The view is unobstructed, it's just you in the water. It's kind of scary, but it makes for a really cool view. The crews are hard at work cleaning the westbound tunnel in Treasure Island. Today they are power washing. Also, they are changing out the old traditional light bulbs in the tunnel for new high-powered LED ones. And here's what it will look like on the new bridge coming out of the tunnel when you're heading toward Oakland. A nice straight line. Eventually, there is a slight curve to the right, but it's slight and nothing that CHP is worried about. But CHP is worried about the new on-ramp from Yerba Buena Island onto the bridge heading eastbound. The temporary on-ramp is going to be that same problem we had before with a very short on-ramp with a stop sign and then a, uh, a short merge. So we want to make sure that people understand that from this area it's going to be very difficult to get on the freeway at first, very similar to how it is currently on the westbound span. The new bridge will be 50 miles per hour the whole way. No change in speed enforcement like there was before the closure. So that's nice. A consistent speed should help keep traffic moving. For two years as you drive eastbound on the new bridge you will see this ugly mug. This is the old bridge that is now just lingering over Yerba Buena Island. It's a tricky mess to remove this safely, so it's going to take some time. It should be gone by 2015. And lastly, here's what it's all about. I saved the best for last. This is what it will look like from your windshield, the new shiny tall suspension tower. It looks so cool up close. In some ways, it felt like a white version of the Golden Gate Bridge, which was cool because we we're so used to Golden Gate being orange. This one felt like a white East Bay version. I think you're going to like it. Gabe Slate, Cron 4 News.